Okay, so my name is Jason Barris uh, at Progistics. I'm Director of Product Management. I'm going to show you some of the things we've done. Uh, just released this week with Silverlight uh, for data visualization. So if we take a look at our homepage, if you go to Infragistics.com, uh, click over on Silverlight here, it'll bring up our page all around Silverlight data visualization. So we're focusing on a lot of um, interesting controls that take advantage of the Silverlight platform. So you can download these CTP controls today, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, election center sample that we built. And what this shows off is some of the new controls we built, um, one of them being a map control, another one being a timeline control. So this is actually a, a Silverlight control that binds to shape files and it reads the data in the shape file, the DBF, and it allows you to do all sorts of different um, sort of visual displays with the map. We've also done some work around the timeline control. So on the bottom here you can see we have a series of dates and this is actually bound up to the map and based on what you click it's kind of showing some different things. Another interesting display for the timeline though is sort of a, a zoom bar. This is what this control is called. And what it allows you to do is scale in and out on a time axis and display um, you know, as much or as little data that you want based on uh, the breadth of data that you have bound in your data source. So in this case, oh our timeline control is right here. We have information on states and then kind of what's happening in society at that point. So we have two time series kind of merged together in a single timeline. And based on how you're zooming in and out, um, you can kind of look at as much data or as little data as you want. This is also really useful for binding to charts. So if you think of like the financial charts where you want to zoom in on um, yearly data or monthly data or quarterly data, this control will allow you to do it as well. All right. Now, a couple other elements in our release. Uh, kind of continuing to talk about, um, we'll do a view full screen here, continuing to talk about zooming in and out of chart data. Here is a sort of a bubble scatter chart, and this is doing the same sort of concept with the zooming in and out on basically just chart data. So I can go in, have a bunch of chart data that spans beyond the range of what I can visually display, and using these custom zoom bars, I can minimize or maximize how the user, the user can customize how they view the data. If we take a look at the, the map again, let's see how this layering concept works. So, like our chart, you can bind a bunch of different layers um, to the map control. So I can, in a chart, have a bar chart with a line chart all layer on top of each other and show and hide those layers. Same deal with the map. So here I have a shape file that's all of Europe and Russia. Right. And then in the individual layers, I can show and hide so the regions aren't displayed. So all we're doing here, this is completely done in XAML, mm -hmm. and it's just showing the visibility of the various layers. We also have kind of a zoom port feature, so based on how you want to like zoom in and data here, you have uh, this functionality. And there's also like a shift drag capability, so I can zoom in like so. Now what's cool about this is in XAML as well, you can set a property on the visibility of layers at a certain zoom percentage. So I can actually say, you know, in Denmark, I want to have another layer of lakes in Denmark, and at 40% zoom, those can zoom a layer in automatically. Okay. So very declarative, very cool. And then one other thing I'll show you with the timeline control, um, to kind of do comparative analysis, this is similar to the previous example I showed you, but the data that we're showing is very different. So we have 19th century data in film, and then the motorized bicycle history. So what's kind of cool about the timeline control is that you can take different types of data and they have a time series, merge them together on the timeline, and then compare them visually. And this is really cool for Silverlight because all of this moving around, all the binding, everything's already on the client. I don't have to go back and do Ajax calls. I'm not refreshing any images or anything. It's all, all done on the client, so the user experience ends up being um, pretty nice. And then here on the timeline itself, each time element can have a custom template. Obviously, data templates, everything's customizable. And this one's just kind of showing, as I scroll along the time axis, uh, it's displaying an image. Very cool. So that's some of the cool stuff we're doing in Silverlight. Again, you can go to infrastructure.com forward slash Silverlight, download all this fun stuff today, start using your apps, and really exploit the Silverlight platform. Very nicely done.